What's up guys, it's Jordan Feigenbaum back here in the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. A lot of you guys have been asking for a training video update, so uh, I've been slacking on those just because I've been working on some other projects, but I've compiled all the footage I had of this last training block um, as I prep for the USSF Nationals here in January. We're about 27 days or something like that away from competition. Uh, it's January 14th, and uh, so this was a developmental block. Um, the idea is to develop a bunch of strength, and then we're going to uh, specify and uh, narrow that down uh, as we peak for this meet coming up in January. So what I'm going to do is put myself in a little picture in picture, and uh, we're going to go through these lifts. So let's start out here. Uh, these are in uh, chronological order, I think, as far as when I did them. So this is probably my first competition squat. Um, of this cycle, I believe this looks like 515, something like that, or 525, no, it's 515, I think. And so that's pretty good, depth's good, speed's good, I'll rate that a 7.5 or an 8 on RPE. Um, this is the next week, looks like we're up here at 525. This looks, uh, yeah, pretty good so far. Yeah, if anything, I would try to go down a little faster, get a bigger bounce. But yeah, week to week, just progressing the weight up. And then this is uh, week three, so this looks like 540. Or 535, sorry. So yeah. <clears throat> Get set. Drive the hips up. Yeah, still RP8. So yeah, progressing up nicely each week. Um, here's some back off reps for that. This is a 410. So typically what I was doing is doing a single at 8. And uh, six sets of five, or five sets of six, rather, um, after that single at eight. Uh, so this is 415, I believe. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do two. So I'm looking at my knees here. I wish I'd keep those out a little bit better. I think I could have turned my toes out a little bit more, too. That would have helped. But pretty good. I think that's rep five. Or six, I don't know. I have problems counting. Here's another back offset. We'll just uh, take a peek at this and then... Uh, move on to some more stuff all right so again i wish i would have turned my toes out a little bit more and kept my knees out a little bit better but let's see that was probably a little high that was okay but again i would have kept my knees out a little bit more yeah, i like that one a little better three four that's okay yeah I, I tend to drive my hips backwards a little bit and then end up lifting my chest so i'd cue myself to just drive my hips straight up but all those sets are submaximal, so it's all good practice work uh, this is one of the supplemental squat variants I was working on. This is a squat with knee wraps. I only ended up doing these for two weeks. Uh, I ended up taking too much, way too much time to train, and then my knees didn't feel particularly good afterwards. This is 550. Um, yeah, pretty casual single. And then I backed off, and I think I did 515 for a couple sets of four, um, which I, for whatever reason, don't have on video. So I ended up switching to squats with chains. So this is 455 bar weight plus 112 pounds of chains. So uh 567 or something like that and no knee wrap so we're just using sleeves yep pretty easy i probably should have gone a little heavier i would have rated that like a seven but uh ideally you're using about 20 percent of your one rm or something like that in chains when using contrast like that it's my typical go-to uh here is 405 bar weight plus 112 in chains so you know what is this, uh, 517, something like that? Yeah, we just don't have enough chains for me to use 20% of my 1RM. Uh, well, it's pretty close, you know, 120, 120 pounds would be uh, uh, 10 or 20% of my 1RM, which is uh, about 600, you know? So we're using 112 here, these look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the technique here, elbows staying stable. I would have kept my chin down a little bit better, but yeah, also maximal sets. Again, the idea is to squat very frequently, get the volume up not do anything uh, that was gonna really, really put you back as far as ability to train again. Uh, here, I can see the bar already is crooked on my back. I tend to do that sometimes and without someone yelling at me. So it's lower on the left side and my elbows are worse on this one. I actually forgot to wear my belt as well. This would look pretty good from a depth perspective and my knees I'm okay with. I would've kept my chin down. I would've remembered to wear my belt <laughs> and uh, fix my elbows on that one.
Yeah, my, uh, <laughs> yeah, I noticed my little elbow pain. I don't know. Uh, this is one squat variant I was using as my supplemental two squat. These uh, are half field squats. I was using a safety squat bar, putting my hands out there. Um, so this is, let's see, 335 plus an extra 40. So this is like 375. And this is just a light squat at the end of uh, one of my training days. Uh, usually I would have deadlifted and pressed uh, or benched before this. And yeah, just trying to get some more squatting action. I would have done a belt squat uh, if I, we had uh, the machinery uh, for that to be set up, but it's pretty simple. No knee sleeves, just kind of going through the motion, nice and deep. Um, you know, I don't think there's any point in there for like a, you know, ass to grass kind of squat. I'm just trying to do some reps, get some volume in at that point. And again, not too fatiguing. So we'll move on to some deadlifts. This uh, looks like 645. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I remember it was super sick during this session. That felt a little harder than I wanted it to be. I probably would have rated that as an 8.5 or a 9. Here's one of my first back offsets. So this is, uh, let's see, 495 plus, plus 515, 530, I think. Yeah, typically I'll do my first back offset without straps and my top single without straps just to keep my grip game strong. It's usually pretty good. Um, so this might have been my second back offset. But yeah, I was super sick. I don't know, I ate some funky skirt steak. And every time I pulled, I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> Notice my face. Uh, so this is the next week. This looks like 6.55. Contrasting Adidas t-shirt and Nike uh, shoes. Yeah, that would move a little bit better. So I'd rate that an 8.5. Pretty good. Dramatic stare down. And this is my first back offset again. Notice uh, I'm just using that alternate grip. And again, I don't alternate which hand I'm alternating. I try to get good at one of them. Um, and I don't think it causes any imbalances or increases your risk of bicep tear. I haven't seen anything convincing that suggests that's true. So this looks like 540 to me. And I'm really looking at the bar, the plates rather, to see if I move them, if I kick the bar forward prior to pulling. So I see a little bit there on that third rep. Or maybe that was the fourth rep. Maybe that was the fifth rep. I don't know, I actually lost count. Another variation I've been using, uh, or one of the deadlift variations I've been using is a pause deadlift. That was 600, felt pretty good. Um, here's 550. I'm using weightlifting shoes mainly because uh, I wanted to uh, force myself to stay over the bar and keep the bar in one place without kicking it forward. So I thought the weightlifting shoes would make myself more sensitive to screwing the rep up. So there's 550 for a nice casual set of four, beltless. If I had those back, I probably would have kept my head neutral, you know, not moved around. So let's move on to pressing. Uh, so let's see, here is 255. Nice single at eight. This is, I think, my, one of my first, uh, one of the first weeks. And here's one of the back offsets. This looks like 235 to me. It's one, two. Notice that I'm just throwing it off my chest. My elbows end up right in front of the bar right before I start to press. Um, almost lose my balance there and die, but which happens sometimes. And that one was that way out in front of me, which is why the bar speed slowed down. So, all right, this is 277. This is close to an all-time PR. And uh, yeah, notice that it slowed down a little bit, about halfway up. I still needed to put the bar back a little bit more, but uh, happy with 277. Just casual, you know, heavy training press. This is 225, beltless. I think I'm trying to hit eight reps here. This one, two. Bar path's pretty good here so far. Three, four. Yeah, not bad. And again, I'm throwing it off my chest. So that's five, six, a little grindy. Seven, much more grindy. And now at that point, I know that eight's not going to go. And so I rack it. My face says it all. Failure. Uh, all right. So this is 245, uh, 250, 250, uh, 250, yeah, from the pins. Which I like the pin press, low pin press, one of the variations that I use. And now here's 237 and a half, two. Really try to make sure I'm getting that layback. Uh, a higher pin press, I think, works well for teaching the layback in general, but this is, that's, I'll probably use that in my specific uh, block as we peak for this meet. Uh, some more rep work. One of my pressing variations is a higher rep set where I'm trying to do eights. So this is uh, 95 kilos, so 205. And again, you can still see how I'm throwing it off my chest using that hip drive. 
and lay back to get it to go. Also notice the fresh fade. This looks to be 250, no this is 220. Yeah. yeah, you can see the aggressive throw off my chest. The lower it is, the more you get to throw it off, but the bigger risk of it going forward. So it's kind of a balance, like how low do you want it to go on your chest and how uh, good are you at not pushing the bar forward. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have had one more rep there. I tend to go a little heavier, a little higher intensity stuff on the pressing and bench work uh, when I bench. Uh, so let's see, 245 from the pins. Yeah, so that was up from the previous week. Uh, this is actually down from the previous week where I'm doing these presses, but I think I'm just trying to do more reps. So that's three, four. Last week I did like, uh, well, maybe it was 227 that I did the final week, so now it's, yeah. And now I'm just trying to do a set of six because I need to get in and get out of the gym. Also, I felt terrible. Again, I was super sick this session. So that worked out okay. Another set of 225. Yeah, a little uneven there. I think my grip a little asymmetric. But, yeah, overall, pretty good. I like that low pin press again as like a general sort of development uh, assistance for the, for the press. Higher pin presses, I think, um, you may be able to overload them. It may help that layback if you're trying to work on that. But the low pin press is kind of nice to get that strength uh, off the chest. And yeah, I also did some press with chains. It uh, should be an overload. That was uh, with 55 pounds of chains. So that was 275. Pretty nice. And then here's some close grip benching, uh, close grip incline benching. The other variation I don't have any video of is just a close grip bench where I would do for sets of 10. Uh, on day three, but this is the end of my day one where I would do close grip incline. I believe this is 245. And that's my training montage. So, uh, hey, that's what I've been up to. I think training's going well. Um, looking forward to hitting some big numbers at the meet, uh, numbers I have in mind. You know, I'm hoping 600 plus on the squat. I'd like to press in the 280s, that'd be great. And then uh, low 700s in the pole, you know, just keep moving forward. And looking forward to seeing all the uh, the heavy hitters from around the nation at the USSF Nationals. You can get more information on the USSF uh, website from Tom Capitelli, uh, also my Instagram feed. And uh, we'll see you guys in Oakland in January. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time.